This is Russ Anderson. Today I'm going to demonstrate the new AdMini trackers and Coalesce trackers features of Synthize 2007. So I'm opening up a shot and I'm going to start an auto track on it. This is a uh, flyover of part of Valley Forge National Park. The idea is to add an encampment down at the bottom of the shot here, maybe some tents and campfires and so on. And to do that, we're going to need to have a dense tracker mesh, a ground mesh, on which to put the tents. So to do that, I've started off with the auto tracker that's that's given us the uh, a fundamental set of trackers. But here, we're just going to assume that we need to have plenty more. And to do that, I'm going to select the area in which I want to add those additional trackers, and then fire up the Add Many Trackers dialog. And to start with, there are over 4,000 different trackers that could be added, but I'm going to start cutting down that number by saying I want to only add them in the area that I just lassoed. And I only want to add ones that were around for uh, quite a while and that are going to be reliable, and uh, trackers that have uh, a nice low error. And I'm going to create trackers that are regular trackers that are going to affect the solve cycle. I'll do it in a little bit. And we'll make them uh, blue, say, so we can tell which is which later. So now I've just added those trackers. You can see they're all selected here, so they're actually red. And if I zoom in, you'll see some spots where trackers are right next to each other. And if you look on the time bar here, you see that they're actually tracking the same feature, but during different portions of the shot. So we'd like to be able to find those occasions and combine them together, and that's what the Coalesce Trackers dialog is about. So it goes around and it's found here almost 80 different spots where that's happened. So I'll just take the default parameters, and I just combine them together, and if I select one of those, you'll see that there's here's a tracker and it has a little missing gap in it that was actually where the two different trackers were put together. Now, those longer trackers are more informative and provide more information for the solve. So I'll go and resolve at this point take advantage of that additional information and, and the additional trackers that we just created. So I'll just create some uh, slight changes in the solve. And now we're ready also to go and create a coordinate system. So we'll just pick out some of the trackers here to use for that. An origin, x-axis, and one on the ground plane back there somewhere. And uh, we'll apply that. So now we have the Trackers all down on the ground plane like we would expect. Now we are ready to go ahead and create a tracker mesh to put the tents on. And to do that, I'm just going to select that whole area of trackers down there. And we'll switch over to the perspective window. We can do this sort of thing. And we'll go and look sort of get a top view on the whole thing. And now I'm going to go and convert that to a mesh and triangulate that mesh. So there's our basic mesh. And just for illustration here in Synthize, we're going to go and texture map that. And just make it so you can see that. Now we have this mesh. that represents our field and we can go and start dropping things onto that mesh. In detail you can see some of the trees in the background and so on. So that's the, uh, the basic thing here. That's what the add many trackers and coalesce trackers can be used for. Obviously there are plenty more parameters for them. And I invite you to actually check out the manual to find out what they're about. And I thank you for uh, watching this show.